Welcome to the Automation Car Design Competition. Over 450 entries, 11 categories and Mr. Regular as a guest judge in his very own special category. The entries will be judged in two rounds, the preliminaries and the finals for each category. The categories span from way back 40s luxury barges all the way to futuristic concept cars. The preliminaries are judged on a scale from 0 to 10 by three judges. At least three finalists will be selected based on this score at the end of each category's preliminary round. Today we shall find out who's going to the finals of the 10s hypercar category. Our first competitor is Alpino BR. And it's certainly scoring like a hypercar. Wow. Very high it drivability. Is really good. Very high drivability, very good sportiness, very high prestige, good comfort. Prestige. Nice. Wow. Very well done. That's yeah, probably a good. plus one even. And the design? Mm -hmm. Well, it's yeah, not, not bad. bad. Looking even. Not yeah. bad. It works. It works indeed. The it rear? Works. The rear too. It's not not a quite as good as the front, but um yeah. I still like it. Uh, this, to me, this is a six. It's yeah. a six. It's a six. Stretching a bit, maybe to seven, but yeah, a six. Yeah, because of the stats, right. It's actually True. an excellent car. Yeah, it should is. Should we give it a seven? Yeah. I should give it a seven. Yeah, All right, let's give it a that. seven. Yes. Ashley Black. Okay, now that's an even wow. more extreme hypercar. This time it focused is more on very sportiness. Very sport. And prestige uh, 100. Yeah, but the engineering time is a bit high on this one. Uh, not the other one wasn't bit. that high. Not only a bit. This is uh, this is actually bad. This is really bad. You you won't ever see this car. That's mm -hmm. yeah. So very high stats. So it it won't get a bonus for it. Let's say let's say that. Um, okay, looks. Ooh. Uh. Uh, mm. It's um, mm. a bit of a concept-ish yeah. look from the, the, the rear doesn't work for 90s. me. No, the rear doesn't work for 2018 at least. I think the front is fine. Yes, in some way, yes. It's not, it's not bad. But the rear just it's no. It's not too bad. So overall, I would. That's hard to tell. Maybe a, a four, a four On five. On design, a five. A five, five yeah. it's solid. A five, and then it doesn't get a bonus or penalty for the stats because, well, it will never see the market, but it was very yeah. nicely scoring. Okay. BMW M8. Okay, well, here we have an example of a car that just doesn't work with these stats, and engineering time is just 100 years! It will be uh, on the wow. road tomorrow, um, and it doesn't score well either not at all yeah so that's really. a minus one here straight up mm -hmm. what about the looks well i like the oh, red trim mm. but the red trim is cool yes. and the, the center rear brake light is pretty cool yes true but the rear light so, and the fascia, uh, rear fascia is not no, exactly. Doesn't I would say overall work. the design is a 5 and with stats it's a 4. Or maybe the design is yeah. too simple. Maybe it's even just a 4 and then minus 1. I don't it's know. just a 4 minus 1. The design is too simplistic. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next up, Crystallis. Alright, another car that has severe engineering time problems. Not quite as bad as the other one, but still yeah. won't ever see it on the market. Um, pretty decent stats though. Um, yes. No comfort is no too comfort much on the track side of things. Mm -mm. Um, Alright, so the car itself. Very white. It's shiny. Ooh. It does look quite cool. The rear is interesting. A the little rainy little... silver. Mm. Um, it's a bit extreme on the yeah. side of the exhaust. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's it a is. bit extreme on also some oh, side it's, vents. Uh, uh, it's almost 2,000 horsepower. So th those those exhausts are actually probably okay <laughs> for that power. <laughs> <laughs> if you consider the power, yes. Yeah, okay, but mm, I mm -hmm. like the front. 
It's simple, yeah. but it works. And the sides are cool. The, the lines are good. And then the rear, uh, yeah, it's okay. So overall, I would say it is a six minus one. Yeah. For the yeah. engineering I time. I would give it a five overall. A five yeah. overall. Yep. Doctor Narfi. Oh, interesting. Someone who didn't build a hypercar, even though the engineering time is still very long. Very, very long engineering time, and it doesn't score really well in hyper. It's nine ninety two mm. in hyper, so it's still okay, but mm, the stats are not mm. hyper. Uh, okay, mm. like a penalty here, definitely. Um, visual design. Um, well, okay, it's... I like the front, but the rear is disappointing. It's yeah. quite disappointing on the rear. Does it like look like sucks. it does look like the rear fixtures, ta the taillights, were rotated differently before? You're right. So that might have happened there. I wouldn't wouldn't um, subtract too much for that necessarily. This really looks like this is uh, the game's fault in that sense. But um, okay. So what do we think of all? Is it a mm. five minus one? Because of the front that works I pretty stay well. On solid five. A solid five. So you would give it a six without the penalty for mm. it's not scoring that well. Probably. No, I probably keep it a five. Okay, a five. Duke Fireframe. All right, that's some decent stats. Um, it's oh, more. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, it's that's working. It's not going over the top. Although engineering time mm -hmm. is on the very long end, I, I better hope that that company has some has some good tech pool in here. Um, stats are good, nice balance. So let's take a look at the car itself. Oh, oh, that's very different. Kind of cool. Yeah, that's a different approach. I like it. Please, yes. It's it not what I expected, but I I am pleasantly surprised. Mm. The mirrors work nicely on this one, and the rear. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it's cool. And that is cool looking. Mm -hmm. It is uni a... definitely unique looking. But it, uh, I don't know. It's like a decade to maybe two decades. It looks like a '90s supercar. At least the front. Yes, but that might be a bit of a style choice. I think it's modern Could enough a... in other elements. That it's um, a retro throwback board. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. I, I think overall this is pretty appealing. Not it for is. me. I have to say, not for me. Okay. So what do you say, uh, Andrea? Because I'm definitely going with a. I. Um, with the stats and everything, I will go with a five. I would go with a to six. To me, it's more six. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So six it is. Oh, now comes the Ferrari lover. And, well, who would have thought that? The Ferrari lover knows how to build hypercars. Um, all right, that's working out. But the Not engineering time, again, very, very long. Very high. Ouch. Mm. That's more than 20 years. That's, that's not really acceptable. I hope they mm. have, um, yeah, so that, that doesn't, doesn't give him any bonus or penalty, even though he's scoring very well in Hyper. But that's easy to do with so much quality put into it. Anyway, let's take a look at the design. Oof. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh, no. Too many eyes. No. Look me in the Too eyes. Too many eyes. No. Too green. But the rear no. wing is awesome. <laughs> wow. Ah. <laughs> the rear is cool. <laughs> I, I like the mm, I like yeah. the concept. Yeah, that's cool. The cool yeah, that's a, that's a uh, very different approach to it. You have to give it that. It's very different to have Jeez, the wings split yeah. like this. That's cool. Yeah. Um, nice wing design. Yeah. I I don't like the four tail lights, but I mean it has six in the front, so it it already toned it down. It already toned it down for you. It, it fits the theme. Yeah, no. it fits the theme. So overall, I think yeah. this is. This is not appealing looking, but the execution of the theme it was going for is pretty good. So I actually give it a... 
Oh, a five. It's still a five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Five. Yeah, yeah. I was worried you were giving like a seven or no, five. No, okay. no, no. A ten. Fine. No, no, no. no. Five but is okay. I yeah, think the rear wings be... that 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 in itself is a seven, <laughs> but um, yeah, no. No, oh, yeah. A, a five of all. Gamer cheater. Okay, that is quite bad. That is quite bad looking. 95 in hyper at uh, over 50 engineering years time. engineering time. Over 60 wow. years even. <laughs> that is not good. Uh, no. Very low stats of all. I don't know what's going on with the utility and off-road. Um, and the resistance and environmental also it's minus. Ah, uh, maybe because of that, yeah. It's, mm. it's strange. Something going wrong there. We should investigate this for bugs. But anyway, it wouldn't score much better there because they don't care about off-road or utility anyway in the hyper category. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't change anything. But still, it's pretty terrible. Um, and the looks? Uh, it looks like oh, a... Oh, God. It looks like a oh. hyper whale to me. It's a hyper whale. It's, and the, it looks like a hyper mistake. Hyper, hyper mistake. The, the rear but it looks is, like a hyper tuning. Yes, the rear is hyper like rice. sky skyline my ass, and um, <coughs> huh. I don't know. No, this this whole design just doesn't work to me. No, it doesn't yeah. work. It's uh, it's probably it's a two mid. minus one, isn't it? Yeah. It's a one. It's a one. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And next up is gaming and lots of numbers. A decent score, but at over 20 years of engineering time, this yep. is pretty bad scoring for that. It's going to extreme, that's for sure. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the car itself. I, I like the roof scoop, uh, but other than that, I... Other than that, it's a very bland. It's design. very bland. Uh, the sign, no, not, like not much. Bronze going. rim with the bronze. Yeah, that is looking cool, actually. The calipers the and the rims. And that's and that's a nice color choice there. That's, yes. And the rear. That. Well, simple. Yeah. Um, so the design overall, I would say, is meh. Yeah, I would go for a three, overall. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. With the yeah, overall a three. Yes. So four minus mm -hmm. one for me. And then we have High Octane Love. Oh, yeah. We do have a pretty decent scoring hypercar. Very low on comfort. Yeah, it's uh, not comfortable. Not comfort. Again, but high with the engineering high time. This is more than... Oh, it's almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 29 years of engineering time. That's, that's not good. I mean, we all know that at this point the company would have tech pool to lower this. But yes. this is excef excessive still. Okay. Mm. Um, let's take a look at the design itself. Sleek on the side. Uh, Weird front. Uh, not it's fitting to the era. Uh, yeah. The problem is that one. Yes, it's not fitting to the era. It's not bad, but it's not good for this time. Hmm. It's more like a 90s design? More yeah. like it. Oh. Huh. Uh, overall, I don't think it's too bad. At least it's consistent, front and rear. It has a distinct yeah. look to it. Um, I, I would go with a five. Mm -hmm. four. It would be as well. A, personally, so, a four. Four mm -hmm. for you. Okay. Compared with the stats, very low. Well, the comfort. stats are okay. yeah. The comfort is low. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you I two go are going four. with a four. I would go with a yeah. five. So it's a four or. Then we have Hunter, 30 of 3. Okay, so these are pretty good stats, apart from the comfort, which is horrendous for a hypercar. Yeah, they need to be somewhat comfortable. And um, another problem might be the engineering time, which again is very, very high. Uh, we just figured out that is mainly due to the cooling. And yes. If you try to build a car that cools for over 2,000 horsepower, good luck figuring that out. You won't. Um, okay, so what about the visual design, though? Um, hmm. 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 
It is it's not bad, not but bad. it is not astonishing. No, exactly. It's not mind it's blowing. Consistency. Yeah, I would say it's a good design. Yeah. On the base of that, yeah, it's good. It's not mind blowing, but it's not just oh. not, not staggeringly ugly. It's, and the stats are okay. Okay. So, is it a six? Hmm. I would give it a six. A six, you would say. I would. Uh, I would go more for a five because mm. of the. Heat, yeah, I'm the definitely problem. in between there. Yeah. So. Um, it doesn't look as marvelous. So yeah, I'll go for a, with a five. Okay. Yeah, uh, five then. Then let's add a five. Next up is Jagstang94. Oh, wow. Okay, some really good scoring going oh. on here, that's for sure. Yeah. Very the high. Balance. Nice. Drivability. Between sportiness. Very, yes, yes. Very good sportiness. Ooh, prestige. Super high Ooh, prestige. Nice. And, and very high engineering time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Takes long Again. to make it. Uh, mm. I will have to check out the engine. Oh, it's a reasonable yeah. engine. Yeah, it's but it's plus engine. 15 quality everywhere. Ah, uh, really? it's a quality car. Oh yeah, yeah ah. it's too, too much quality. Okay, so that's not just cooling. The engine was was appropriate, but okay. Let's take a look at the design. Ah, oh, okay. First thing I noticed, uh, interesting with the offset number plate mm. there. That's a, that's a cool little thing. Yeah. It smells Alfa it's Romeo really from the number invented. plate. Uh, I kind of like the wing setup. It looks really extreme. Um, probably... Deep. Probably not very useful in reality because it would lift the front. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So what do we think of all? A bit simple design. It's not a simple design, but yeah, not too bad. But I would give it five of solid. It's not yes too exciting. Yeah. Okay. Solid for me. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yep. For me too. John Dam Madden. Oh, also some decent stats. Not yeah, overly excessive good. on the engineering time either. And mm -hmm. um, good balance overall. It's it's more a supercar than a hypercar, I would say, here. Nine, yeah. It is, it's, mm -hmm. it's it is well middle. within budget there for the supercar, so it, which is great. That means you can have yeah. high markups. So, anyway, let's take a look at the design. Um, mm -hmm. It's... Uh, looks more like a is weird... Very modern. Yeah. Oh. Concept something car, maybe. I like the red detailing of yes, the. Yes, the red detailing is awesome. Yeah, it's nice. It kind of works, yeah. The rear not, works. Not necessarily for me too. a fan of it, but um, I, I, the, the rear, the tail lights ah, are just a bit misplaced. But I like yeah. the exhaust uh, pipes. Exhaust and pipes yeah, are but they're fine. Okay. Just the, the lamps pipes. are just a bit weird. Yeah. In. Overall, I, I don't like the. It's probably a personal thing, but I. It doesn't connect with me. It's too small detail lights. There are no bigger feature features on it. It's nothing I can I can mm. hold on to really. So f to me, it's uh, it's either meh or even a three. Oh, I was going to give you a five too. I was, mm. uh, yeah, I was, was going to say. Mm. So um, if you both are settling for a five, then it would be a four or even a five. What do we say? I can accept a four. I can okay. accept a four. Cool. Four then. Kieran Harrison. Oh, okay. Yes. That, that is a hypercar. That mm -hmm. is a, yeah. uh, a very sporty hypercar. Yeah, it's good yeah. overall. From the stance. Yeah, it's all, all, less, all the less crazy on engineering. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the few cars that we have seen below 200 <laughs> uh, months of engineering time. So that's that's good. It's even an eco car, 10.9 liters. Um, but anyway, oh. let's take a look at the design. Hmm. Mm. It looks more like unusual. a tuner car. It looks like a tuned car. Yeah. Mm. And not very good one. Hmm. Tuned car. Backyard tuner, how do you say? A bit, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's more like, yeah. It's a mix between a tuner car and a GT car, I would, I would say. Kinda, it's a yeah. tuned GT car. <laughs> a pimped one. Um, anyway, what do we think? Uh, I mean, I would give it... Considering it looks like a tuned GT car, it's a meh. If it would be a different category, maybe, or creative, maybe better, but here it's meh. No. Yeah. 
Uh, I think I I'm five. I think I would be giving it a five overall. I agree. It has okay. some some solid aspects to it. The stats are really nice. So yeah, there. Yeah, I think it's a five. Yeah, I'd give it a five. Mm -hmm. Next up is Kluzov. Oh yeah, some very decent stats. Not super high scoring, but it is a super reasonable hypercar. Just yes, 140 um, engineering months here. That's mm -hmm. one of the lowest we've seen. And uh, let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, hmm. very, very simple, elegant look. This also looks more like a GT car than a hypercar to me. It doesn't have that hypercar vibes. No. What do you think about the rear? Very simple, but not... Uh, it's elegant in some way. Yeah. It doesn't fit the front, though, does it? Yeah, it doesn't fit the front, totally. Completely mm. to different car from front and rear. Yeah. Okay, overall, what do you, do you guys think? I'm... I'm around a 5, maybe... Yeah, it's a solid 5 also, this one. Okay. Um, I, I think the, the problem with the number plate itself is <laughs> uh, is probably... It's, for me, it's between 4 and 5. Um, the rear mm. is nice, but... And the front is mm, okay. Um, but overall, it just doesn't appear that much. I, I would settle with 4 overall, actually. Although the stats are quite okay. So, yeah, maybe a 5. 5, because it doesn't have very big mistake. So No, exactly. So, yeah, I would be fine with a 5 here. Nitrophonics. Ha, ah, isn't it beautiful to see some reasonable cars in a row? Reasonable hypercars. Yeah. This yeah. one is one of them. Good stats and very low modest. Engineering. Yes. Comparable All right, so that, that works. Uh, just take a quick look at the engine. 850 horse. Nice. Uh, okay, design. Ooh. Oof. It's a little too uh, busy at the front. It's like very this, busy this, on the front. This hood scoopy thing, venti thing, that is just too massive to me. Mm, a bit, yes. It's large. And the rear? Oh! Yeah, no, the rear kind of works. Like. It kind of works. Kind of like it. Yeah. It yeah. follows the lines of the body and uh, yeah. vents nicely, so it's very well crafted. And that's actually good. Um, it has a bit something of a McLaren the rear. Yes. I, I, so um, I, I'll just do something uh, I, I should not do here. Uh, wait a sec. Here, it's a new ordering. I shall just uh, see if I like it much better without that massive scoop. Oh yes. Oh fuck yeah. Oh yes, this is much better. Ha! Huh. Uh, like oh like, yeah, I like just this, removed it too. Like this, it actually would be overall probably a s uh, six and yeah. a half, seven to me. Sec six and a half a seven due to the yeah. low engineering actually you have to give him yeah. credit there a yeah, seven yeah yeah because so, it's but, a rare thing um like like this with the massive foot yeah. scoop on there yeah. i think it's a it's six, inches no, barely towards a six or maybe a five what do you guys think i can give it a six i can give it a six the rear is right. really good and it's such a little let down in the front cool and we settle with a six Next up, Lada Fan. Oh, okay, no. Th th this doesn't work stats wise. Um, no, no comfort. That, that is a bug in the game, of course, but it must be mm -hmm. extreme in some way that it breaks it so that we haven't seen this before. Um, yeah. Also, so, look at the engine time. time. That's probably yeah. because of the engine, which has 2,200 horsepower. That's, that's not coolable. That takes massive time to engineer. Uh, anyway, design. What do you guys think? Uh, mm. not convinced. It's me neither. It's a bit. It's too very simple. Plain and empty. Way, it's it's simple. It could work. The but only thing I really like. And... The only thing I really enjoy here is the rearrangement with the vent and the exhausts. That's cool. Yes, that's cool. Yeah. But the complete rear fascia doesn't. No. Fit no. Exactly. To it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, no, I'm I'm really not convinced about this one. Yeah, I would say it's a meh. It's I a give meh. it a three minus for one. the stats. Exactly, a minus yeah. one yes. for the stats. Yes, so a three. 
I am crossing. All right, pretty good, pretty good overall. Um, somewhat reasonable engineering time as well. So yeah. uh, this is this is not getting any penalties for sure. Um, a little low on the drivability maybe, but yeah, that's acceptable. Okay, um, mm. let's switch it around. It's a whoa, one thousand four hundred horsepower. Okay, uh, design though. It looks like a super <laughs> slash hypercar. It looks like a supercar from mm. the 90s. From the late 90s, yeah. The front yep. really reminds me of the McLaren. Yeah, mm. the F1. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. And, and the, the rear, rear is... is much of the same. Mm. So, so design of all. See, overall, it's almost um, a four. It's yeah, almost I getting agree. to a four. No, I would agree. And the stats don't... Um, do the stats upgrade it? Not really. Mm, no. No, I think no. it's weak. It's barely it's a 4 on the side. Yeah, so. exactly. So it's a yeah. good 4 with the stats. It's a good 4, yes. Yes. Yeah. And then we have Lucas. <laughs> okay, well, this car... This car kind of works with the stats. Um, wow, weirdly, look at the engineering time. Yeah, the yeah. engineering time, but then look at the power of the Three, engine. That's not hypercar. <laughs> but the engine what? is called I Hate Turbos. So <laughs> That's cute. Oh. It's cute. It's a 2.2 liter engine. Uh, but yeah. wow. I mean, it can yes. work power wise. I mean, the NSX back in the days didn't have. Yeah, much but this, power this is. Too. Yeah, but it wasn't a hypercar. Exactly. It was a supercar, not an hypercar. Yeah. True. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so very, very impressive for that engine, I have to say. Um, mm -hmm. But let's take a look at the design. Hmm. No. no. Slanty eyes. No. no. Oh no, the rear doesn't work at all with this one. Almost a swear Not word in the rear. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. No, uh, for me, it, the design itself is free. Uh, the stats yeah. uh, are unique Doesn't in help. some way. And they, They're unique. They it don't help, works. though. I mean, the they car drives help. almost 300 kph. <laughs> yeah, but it, it doesn't help to gain one point yeah. more. So I'm yeah, still exactly. three. Yeah. So it's still three. Lucreana. Oh my, oh my. Here we have some big costs coming at us. Um, uh, someone, yeah, it's decent stats, but look at the engineering time. Everyone can do that with that engineering time of like in 80 years you probably figure out how to build a better car than this um, yeah. yeah, so No, that's probably a negative for this one And mm. let's have a quick look with the power figures. That's 800 horsepower. That's not unreasonable. Let's look at the car though um, Oh, what is going on? No, yes, that's a good question. What is going on? It's very pearlescent. Um. Also, why does the roof have a number plate on there? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> yes. I think it's not the first time we saw this car. Something yeah. very similar. Something very similar, yes. Maybe the same designer. Oh, that could be. Anyway, so could what do you think concept, of all? By the way. It's... it's poor design of poor... this one. Yeah. Maybe even oh, a two. Yeah, it also a two due yes. to every time. Maybe even a two due to ultra high engineering yeah. time. Yeah, I agree. I, I think this maybe was uh, submitted to the uh, concept car category as well. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. I think it was. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Could be, yeah. So uh, yeah, it still doesn't work. Okay, it's a two. No. Mr. Rogers. Okay, some decent stats going on here. Hundred and fifty-four engineering. Yeah, Ice. that's reasonable. No. Reasonable. One thousand twenty horsepower in this one. Let's take Ten a look at the design. N A. Uh, <laughs> okay, hmm. that's okay. That's um, uh, that is a little bit between what the fuck and uh, oh, interesting. Um, a retro. Uh, yeah. Car, I mean, it uh, it doesn't work for me. Hmm. Me Why neither. not? But it doesn't work. Yeah, it's not like. If I would buy a super uh, an hypercar, I don't want that it no. looks like this. You wouldn't buy a hot rod if you wanted to buy a hypercar. No. So what do you say? I think I could be close to zero on this one in some way. Yeah, it doesn't, to me, the idea itself, almost not a zero, but 
a, so a, one. a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a good idea. I, I okay, I settled with a one as well. Machalel. Okay, here we have something that looks a bit more like a supercar from the stats. Uh, still doing well in hyper. Very Three long engineering, engineering time. So quality sliders were not used in moderation. Indeed. And the design? Oh, well, that's the. Oh, oh. Well, that's oh, kind of kind paint. of the, the the coolest pearlescent look I've seen. It doesn't doesn't work for yeah. me on this car, but the the shift via yellow from red via yellow to green that's quite cool A anyway um it works the the design uh, well i have to say i like the, this headlights they are very well used in the car in my opinion in my they opinion. are mm, but they yeah. doesn't save the car no right the rear is a letdown the front is okay the rear is uh, they, yeah. The bottom is cool design. Yes. Yeah. The lights but the don't quite lights work. Are weird. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm not so sure here. I would say overall this is more looking like a meh. Yeah, I was going to yeah. give a five, but minus a one five? for the stars. Probably. Yes. So four, it's okay. Yeah, uh, it's not quite minus one for the stats. Uh, well, uh, 290 is a little high. So whatever the design says is probably more accurate. So if you give it a 5, with just the looks, uh, I kind of agree it's probably a strong 4. It has some good elements to it. Yeah. So I could set it to 5 as well. No, no, no. For I me it's more it a 4. Okay, then I'll it's give a, it a 4. four. Cool. MJ Decker. Oh, what's going on here? Blown tires. Um, Maybe this is... <sighs> Do to a bug just or rims. something. Rims minus mm. one. Let's see if it fixes it. Mm. Yeah. Just okay, give it fixed. one diameter more. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Uh, one diameter. Tire oh, well, I, I reduced rim size by one. Um, that works. Okay. It is a decently scoring hypercar. Super oversteer either. Um, and and the stats are okay. The engineering time is low, so it's it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's not overwhelming. In any way, but it's okay. So design, okay, yeah, uh, that that doesn't look too bad to me. It, it looks quite well. It looks fits. It fits. Yeah. it's cool. The sides are yeah. awesome. I really like the the use of the vent there. That's a mm -hmm. cool idea. Yeah, true. And the Clever. door handle also placed the... on the seam, along the seam. That's a good idea too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the rear. Whoa. Okay, that kind of works. It's busy, but it works to me. It's busy, it's, bu it it's busy yeah. but in a working busy way. Oh, this is actually really cool looking. Mm -hmm. I also uh, like okay, the. Okay, um, that is. Wow. Oh. Wow, I'm. I'm, mm -hmm. uh, I'm quite nice. impressed with this one. Uh, I would say it's great uh, from the design standpoint. Yeah, there's a lot of and work the in here. Detailing, it's it's great. Yes, I love yeah. the rear actually. Also, look look along the rear where yeah. above the tire. Two vents. Ah, now I see what you mean. Yes, that that is very nicely along the ridge, along the ridge, so that they yeah, can form it's the very ridge. Carefully it done. is carefully done. That is a lot of work that has gone into this one, and it paid off. Yes. Yes. Okay. I I have to say it is is actually an eight. The design yeah, is an eight. Gonna, what do we yeah, what do we say about the stats an though? Eight. The, do we say the blown tires were something that go, has gone wrong? Or not? It could be an accident because I just gave it 705 millimeters of diameter. Oh, okay. And it works fine. So even if you have, yeah. could be some some mistake or error. Yes. Mm. So if give I give it the benefit of doubt. So 705. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. That is our first eight. I think yeah it, yeah. yeah it's an eight. Okay. I would give it an eight, mate. Next up, mod 13. Oh yeah, that is working. Those stats are pretty good. Yeah. Very very sporty. Still very low dry, engineering time. Very low engineering time for what mm -hmm. we have seen so far. Not 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 on an absolute scale, but <laughs> for what we have but seen on, so on far. On this scale here. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I can I can see that working. It's uh, 700 horsepower basically. Um, reasonable. So let's look at the design. Yeah. Uh, I'm... Ouch. Ouch. No. It kind of hurts my. 
eyes. What is this? this like the, the wave the wavy grills in the front they make it look super awkward with the straight lights and why is this? And sign no, not really. It's, uh, no. It doesn't work. The and rear. The, no. the rear. Interesting. I have to say, it's interesting. It's not good looking, but it's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I I would say it's a two plus one. Yeah. Two I fully one. agree on that. Yeah. Okay. And then we have Mr. Chips. Yes, again, another car with really good stats, actually. I like that. Yeah. Um, very high mm -hmm. drivability, even higher sportiness, and loads and loads of prestige above prestige. 100. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, Buffalo. very cool. Wow. Um, the engineering time is still yeah, it's not not absolutely terrible. Uh, 1,100 horsepower, and what about the visuals? Uh, oh. oh. Oh, nice. It's modern. Okay. It, yeah, ah, I can't like the, more the rear than the front. Yeah, the rear yeah. is better than the front. But the front yeah, is the, growing on me. I, I really like the detail of the the long light through the vent on the sides, in the lower sides, mm -hmm. or oh, of the front. I don't really like them. I think it fits the the style overall. It was going for, and it what? seems different from the back. I mean, let's do two different cars. If I saw the headlights, That's I think true. the tail should be different. I disagree there because these these tongues of the rear lights they look a little bit similar to what he was going for in the lower sides of the front. Okay, on that that yes, but the the headlights, the other yeah, ones the are split because they're so split. You mean? I really like no, the rear though. I don't like the shape. I don't like oh, the shape okay. of the front headlights. Mm -hmm. right. Ah, so a different taste not, there. Not convinced on them too. The rear is gorgeous. I think the rear is amazing. Actually. Oh, look at the, look at the, the vents they put. The, yeah, the on diffuser the... one. Mm, it is they really good looking. It's it's bumper bars. Oh, to to me that is, that is definitely a matter of taste though. I, I would give this an eight for the design. Um. But hmm. you seem to be a bit more on the lower end of that, so... To me, it's not more... much. It, due to the front, to me, it's a 7, not an 8. Exactly. Because, because okay. an 8 would make me more wow. Yeah. Okay. It's close to an 8. The front has it to be tra close. changed a bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, would, it would be really great, but... So, overall a 7, then? Yeah. 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 Very nice. Andy K. Nico. Oh, and it's not often we see that on top. Convertible supercar. Um, interesting. But yeah, hmm. still a pretty decent hypercar. No the comfort. Only, no comfort. That's that's not not really okay. But <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, engineering time somewhat acceptable. Um, the engine is almost 900 horse. Hey, what do we have as visuals though? Uh, uh no. It's, no. Does it look more like a truck? Yeah, <laughs> the car. Not really. Um, <laughs> Okay, no, I didn't get that vibe, but... Um, okay. It's more of a... I, we try to make... We try to tune our, our old lineup to make it a hypercar, but that mm -hmm. this doesn't work to me. Mm. Mm, okay. No. I'm not quite... Um, quite like, I, I would say it's it's uh, alright, even. Um, overall. The yeah, rear looks... Yeah, a yeah. It's the, a 5, yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah, but it's solid five. design. Solid yes. 5, yes. Okay, well then we're in agreement actually. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nicking HC. Yeah, alright. More like a muscle car than a hypercar. This is working out though. Very high comfort. Uh, also, nice. again, sane, sane engineering. Yeah, yes. uh, somewhat sane engineering time. That's good. At 940 horse. Interesting. Hey, design. Oh, what is going on with the oh, front? Oh no, no, uh, no, 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 no. Oh. This looks like a an old Terence Hill and Bud Spencer movie <coughs> fa face look after they 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 hit them from with Indeed. both flat yeah. hands yeah. on on the ears from at the same time or something. <clears throat> yes, I I don't know. This, this he just, just thought it's awful. a motorbike, not a car. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, that's true. It looks more like a motorbike. The rear isn't isn't nearly as bad. 
It's the, not the great. The Rear is trying to be simple and elegant, mm -hmm. but it doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't quite doesn't work. work. Yeah. No. Okay, no, to me... Oh, the front is just so destroying it for me. Uh, it's, it's 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 like a two. two. Three. three. And three, so it's a two, two, pl two plus one. Two. Yep. Plus one. Okay. Octanian Fire. Oh, interesting. Okay. This one is aiming really yeah. low. It is aiming super low. This is not a hypercar. This is a Glide Sports supercar. The stats are not there. Uh, yeah. They are high, yeah, the but no, the stats probably aren't even high. Prestige. Yeah, I think it's the lack of prestige in this yeah. case that really... You're probably right. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that's uh, missing the mark a little bit. 600 mm -hmm. horsepower is definitely in the, the realm of reasonable for this, but um, the design... Um, uh, what, what is going on ooh. with these vents it on is the ridges? Consistent. Yeah. Not very good the advance, but at least it's consistent from. It from is consistent. Korea. You have to say it. The, the lamps are consistent too. Yeah. yeah. And it's a weird design. I like design. the rear. It's, it's kind of like the rear. It's Even. good. It's good. It's weird, but good. I like what the color. What wouldn't? Oh, yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, um, true. What wouldn't work is the rear wing being much wider than the car itself. That's just no, a no-go. No, that doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. But uh, so, what do we think of all? Some intricate designs ah. there for the for the lamps. I see. That's that's pretty cool. Good idea. Good idea. I don't know if it works. I can give I'll it a five. A five. I think yep. it's a solid design. All Not right. the best stats, but it's All right. the margin. Yeah, I can agree with that. Pies extra. Oh, these stats aren't that great, are they? No, not it's really. It doesn't really work much. The right category, but just the tuning must be quite off. Um, okay. Of so the design then. Um, it looks like a GT car with a wing. Yeah. yeah. Fat wing. Yeah, it's definitely not giving me a hyper vibe at all. Mm hmm. And maybe GT oh. car, maybe even like a higher end sports car. It looks like a yeah. normal sports car to me. Yeah. I mean the front looks cool, but it's not not hyper cool. Yeah. No, just, the yeah. front is yeah, well it designed. Has... It's it's a really solid design, I would say, in the front. And the rear is meh. The rear is quite meh, yes. So overall, with the low stats, I would settle with a three or even uh, or maybe a four. I would give him a four. I like yeah. the front. The, the front because of the front, almost, yes. Almost, not almost there, but he aims for the right direction. Or a four. It will be four minus one, but let's go with a four. Shaman Legend. Another car with pretty average stats. And not so Barely convinced made. here. Uh, let's. Mm. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Um, engineering mm. time is reasonable, though. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, over a thousand horse. Uh, design. Okay. Okay. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Right. yeah. It, they are not perfectly uh. aligned. It's it's a little sloppy. Um, but yeah. other than that, like the, the concept, if you're f far enough zoomed out, it's it's kind of looking good. Um, the sides. Yeah. Yeah. Kind kind of works. Work. I don't but know yeah, about the the misplaced. Strange. It looks somewhat misplaced. The logo there on the side, on the rear side. Oh, and the yeah, a C pillar. It makes sense there. It's just not not perfectly yeah. centered. And the rear, with all those lights, <laughs> all all a little bit out of alignment and weird placing. They are kind of wavy to me. It doesn't look all yeah. right. It looks like a Even concept, and then uh, no time was spent on the fine-tuning of that concept. Yep. So overall, this is a meh to me. It is a meh. Yeah. Yeah. The front is better than a meh. Zoomed out, definitely. Yeah. And the rear is also zoomed out. Well, no, that's just a meh. Okay. A meh. It's a meh. It's a meh. Spore Studios. 
Yeah, I think we can wait here for a long time. If you use a modded body, we won't be able to see it, as stated in the rules. Next, please. Viventar. Oh yeah, quite reasonable stance. Uh, it's weird the to see... Um, it's quite hmm. s strange to see higher drivability than sportiness in this category. But that's fine. True. There's nothing bad about that. Uh, usually a sign of uh, they didn't have quite enough money to spend, which isn't the case here, as they are spending a lot of is money. massive again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Design. Um, I'm not getting hmm. hypercar not vibes from this. No, no. Looks more like a not sports even, car. Yeah, not even GT vibes. It's more like I'm a light sport car. Hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't go quite as that far. To me, it looks quite GT-esque. But uh, anyway, not hyper, which was the the aim of this. Yeah. yeah. So uh, while overall, I kind of like the design of the front. It kind of misses the category. I would say the design yeah. of the front is good overall, and the rear. Not bad at all. I like the taillights, the, how they were constructed out yeah. of a thousand pieces. I agree. Um, so, wrong category. It would be good if it were like a GT, maybe? But like yeah. this? Yeah. It's probably just all, all right a from five, a design. Five, yes. I agree yes. on the five. Schmeeze. Uh, okay, a very mundane stat looking hypercar. It's not good from the stats point of view. But no, what isn't. is this massive list of warnings? What, especially the one, the engine is knocking. All right, let's take a look. The engine is oh knocking my. with 11%. Uh, is this just one click though? No. Oh, this it's is- It's one this click in com- It's two clicks compression. No, that is definitely not a, an exporter mistake. This is just fucked up. <laughs> okay, that's a, it that's is. a what the fuck yeah. for the engine. Uh, so technicalities, nah, that's a minus. What that's do we say minus. for the design, though? Why? Uh, what design? There's not much design here. Um, there is none. It's like the Clubs, the bare headlights. minimum. This right. looks like a yeah. car I made uh, for for a let's play, and I usually don't even put fixtures on my cars. Hmm. That's hmm. a car I would make with the old automation in 2012, but yes. not. Yes. No, okay, these so days. design uh, is terrible. 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 This is a one. And then minus one for the stats. So, yeah, okay. Or, uh, yeah. A one. It's a what the heck. Next up, Dead Buck Inc. Alright, aiming a little low here, even. Still very good scoring in Hypercar. 114, that's good. Uh, very nice stats. Good mix there. Very reasonable engineering time for one of these cars too. And low-ish on the power. Well, let's take a look. Oh my god. Hmm, I... Except from the colors, the front works quite well. Hmm. It works in a way, if it wouldn't be for the paint. Hmm, well the paint the is rear, a little... The I am yes. disappointed of. Oh my yeah, OMG. me too. Yeah. Yes, mm. yes. Mm. It doesn't convince me either. Yeah. It, this looks more like a light sports car to me than a hypercar, supercar. Yes, true. On the look, yes. Mm. Um. Okay, so what do we think? I think I, I can... It could be a solid design. Yes, yes, yes five. five. Dead punch a toy. Well, the stats are spot on. It's a uh, good scoring car in hyper, well targeted. Good power, engineering time a little on the high end for these cars, uh, but still within some reason. And let's take a look at the design. Ah, okay. That's interesting. The front is cool. Ooh. The rear, the rear is very well. McLaren, though. Mm -hmm. mm, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's not definitely a lot there, of but effort put in here. The front is yeah. great. I think the sides of it are a little too busy compared to the center, especially. I mean, maybe 
No. Yeah. And do you see what I mean? I could, it's like super I can follow you, yeah. Super busy around the center of the the side vents um, and headlights. Yep. Thing. Can I can see what you mean and follow it? Um, but overall, a really good looker. Yes. Yeah. Is this a? Is this a, a seven? Solid seven. I think it Two. is. Yes, because seven. the stats are good too. So it's probably a seven. I, I give it a six in design, but a plus one due to the stats. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I wouldn't give it a plus one there, but um, it's a seven nonetheless for me. Okay, yeah. seven. Elektrisch. Another good scorer. Not quite as good, but 80 prestige. That's nice. Decent stats. 1,000 horsepower in this one. Almost two tons of vehicle. All right, engineering time for a car like this. And uh, design? Ooh. Well, that looks proper, like uh, hype, super yeah. hyper car. Yeah, um, but, it but 90s, looks like right? A, yes. Yes. A late 80s, early 90s concept. Exactly. Almost. Yeah, that's the problem with this one. Problem, yes. It's a problem. I, I, I like, I like the profile of it. It looks so fast. And, uh, yes. Like, I, it does not waste is. any aerodynamics on headlights. I need to check how fast this is actually. Oh, awful gear setup. It's just terrible. 397. Oh, a terrible yeah. power curve. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's not good. But anyway, that's not what we're supposed to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, uh, so true. design overall, what do you think? I could give it a solid five. Yes. Yes. Agreed. Micon P7. Uh, okay. Here we have a muscle premium car. That's missing the mark. A little bit. Supercar. Hypercar 95. Okay. Still decent. Um, good amount of power. Reasonable engineering time. Okay. Design. Uh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. What? There is oh, wow. a lot of work here. A lot of work. Yes. A ton of work. Oh. But I like how he bolted the on caps. the arches. It's fuel mm -hmm. caps. Which you would never do on a hypercar. That's an no absolute no-go. Yes. To have this anything is, out this, there. Because, this is I mean, this like... is so much air resistance. It's like crazy <laughs> amounts of air resistance. You, you know how, like, if you... If you just have one straw of of grass on your surfboard, like that doubles its resistance in water or something. It's like crazy much, and this is basically the equivalent of it, but uh, oh. uh, a fifty-fold. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, and that is absolute bullshit. But it looks quite cool, I have to admit. But it's it is. it's looking quite hyper, not. Mm. Performance hypercar, but it's looking hyper. Yeah. Yeah. It looks it, crazy. And no. It's like a race car, more like a design. Yeah, one that and never hits its top speed, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. It's something like it's a race car you would Ooh. buy as a normal guy. Mm -mm. Uh, to me, this is normal. completely overdone. Uh, it's, it's just way over designed. I really like many of its design aspects. Like the rear ta the taillights. With the the fanning of the taillights and mm. stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, to me, I yes. think I could give it... Uh, you probably will com complain about this, but I'm going to give it a 7. Mm. I could actually agree with him here. It's yeah. because yeah. Very all, good the problems, all the problems that he had, that will come out on if it reached the finals. And on that the finals, it's going to be penalized. But I think it's worth probably give it a better look. Okay. 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 I, I would... So both of you say seven, I say six. But that does, doesn't change to seven. All right. Mr. Whopper. Hmm, quite poor scores. 85 in hyper. It's not really doing it. Uh, okay, engineering time is all right. Power is good. And design? Whoa, the pearl. Oh, uh, the paint. Is, is there design? After, is there any design yeah. on this one? I don't spot uh, it. Uh, there is a design. Have you seen the paint? 
<laughs> yeah, okay. Making yeah. that paint would is probably pain. It's, yeah, it's what? probably they had like twel twelve months for the design. They spent eleven months on uh, the paint and yeah. mixing the paint. Yes, and having a lot of paint. Okay, By the well, way, this car is really unlucky because it came out after the other one that was over designed. So this one looks like completely under designed. Yeah. It is under designed though. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, but at the end it is also under designed, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, this, but I uh, get your point. <laughs> it's, it's a three, I think, this one. It's a two, even. I, I would go for it. There is no design. There's absolutely okay. nothing. It's just on nothing. This one. Okay. The stats aren't helping it either, so. Yeah, yeah true. Uh, it's a two. Max Miller 98. Ah, oh, a decent scorer. Still above 100 in Hyper. It's not brilliant, but it's alright. And stats, okay. Very low engineering time for a car like this. That's good. And we have a power plant with 580 horsepower. Oh, yeah, a little bit on the low end, but it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, let's take a look at the design. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. It is quite cool. Simple, but cool. Hmm. Um, one thing I don't find cool is the front grille. It's a bit too huge. Yeah. Reminds yeah, like a little, a Toyota. Yeah. I love like oh. uh, an overblown no, Bugatti or something. Yeah. Okay. The, the headlights are working for me, even though I usually don't like slanted shit on the front like this. It's, uh, like very tiny stripes. But uh, this is quite working for me, actually. It looks hyper in some way. The lines of the body are, of course, helping, and uh, the vents on the front nicely aligned with the lines, even though it has some clipping issues and shit with the body. But, mm -hmm. The rear. Uh, where's the badging? Where's yeah, the badging the in the rear? Just add a simple badge on the rear, and it would feel completely different. Yeah. Well, to me, this would be a five. Yes. Yes. NAFTA. Missing the mark slightly on the stats. Not too badly though. It's almost a... Um, still, how much? 100 in hyper? Almost. 99 in hypercar. Alright. Um, decent power. Good engineering time. And design. Mm-hmm. Cute. On the front. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is not a hypercar, this is a sports car from the looks of it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you can make it put a badge that says hyper on the rear, but it's still <laughs> like a sports car. Yeah, yeah. Also, the power is more high end sports car than it is hypercar. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, design overall, what do you think? Five? Uh, Probably. To me, it's a meh. It's a meh. Because it doesn't look like a hypercar. It's a solid mm, design, exactly. but not for a hypercar. Okay, yeah, I agree. Nick. Okay-ish scoring car. Very high stats, though. Let me, let me see if... Oh, there's no markup on here. Um, 94 in hyper. Not, not quite hitting the mark there. But what do we think about its design? Ah. It's special. The rear badging is a bit overdone. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a bit like, extreme. How yeah. much text can we put on here, guys? <laughs> all the text. <laughs> and yeah. also, Let's try all. You know what is what is so bad about it? It is that he mm -hmm. uses three different fonts in yeah. like the same area. That's just an absolute no go. Uh, and anyway, what do you think about the rest of this design? Front kind of work, Ferrari's cloak. Hmm. I have to less. say, all around the, the design is amazing. Oh. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more it go worse. Yeah. And say, so, eh, no, this is just. Yeah, the first throwing. impression was quite good, but then. You know, yes. I agree, the details what are is... taking it out. Mm -mm. Is it the meh? Is it the meh? Yeah, it's a four. Next up. Pavlova. All right. Now uh, this this car is 
is not scoring well. Uh, it's almost, almost there. It scores zero in everything. Brilliant. Um, it has an engineering time of just, just over 115 years. Uh, that, that's, that's quite adequate, I would say. And sportiness definitely is an impressive value, but with so many quality sliders being abused... Whew, no. So, okay. That's just bullshit. But, um, the... Uh, let's take a quick look here. Safety. Let's put standard safety in it. No, doesn't help. Let's put advanced safety in it. Hypercar. It only scores 69 in hypercar, even when it scores. Nah, mate. No, mate, that does work out. Anyway, design. I hope that works better for you. Oh, Ooh. well. This kind yeah, of it works. Actually, actually, it does. It does work a lot it, better than the stats. Yeah. 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 No, you get hurt. Make yeah, no, better the, than the, the stats. The rear is pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. Oh, the yeah, rear yeah. is nice. I meant no big effort to make it better than the stats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really Yeah. Cool. Yes. Uh, what is really cool is the use of, is it lips? I think so, yes. The lips to uh, accentuate the, uh, the the light, the headlights and the, the vents. Oh, yeah. I really mm -hmm. like that. It's used as flaps there too. I no, like I, also I, uh, on, okay. yeah, go ahead. On, on, the, on the back there are on the, the grills of the engine two bonnets stretched to put the wings on them. Oh, oh, that is yeah. beautiful, yes. A nice cool. touch, nice touch. Nice touch. Wow, that's very good. And by that I mean this is at least a 7 in design. If not yes. an 8. Yes. I, I actually would say, if it didn't have... Oh, it's probably not something he can, can do, but there's this little mess up in the mesh on the front of the lip. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, but, nothing you can do about it. Yeah, exactly. But I think overall this is actually in... No, not overall. The design to me is a clear 8. Maybe a little bit of a low 8, but uh, it's an 8. To me it's a very good design. It has... like it, I don't feel it being great for some reason. But That's it's very, very, good. very, very good. But the stats... stats. Ultra Stand high engineering. Ball. Plus 15 quality, man. Don't yeah. do it. So what is so, it to you overall? To me it's a 7 overall. For me it's 7 minus 1. Mm -hmm. 7 minus 1. Okay, then it's a 6. Speaking of 6s, here we have 6th. Okay, a uh, good hypercar. Nothing spectacular, although sportiness is very, very high. 99. Uh, good engineering time. Pretty much spot on power there. It's within the range. And the design. Uh, well, it's uh, side, those side, patches, I guess. Those, those covering patches. They oh. just don't work in this game. You see why he's uh, trying to do it, but this just doesn't yeah. work. I mean, when designing this, how how is this a good idea? <laughs> how's like you you put it there and think like, yeah, this looks really good. Uh, I just have to, to remove this. Yeah, I just have to remove them and like see. Yeah. It doesn't look that bad. I can see what, what he's going for, but the patch definitely makes it worse. You could... A uh, tip, pro tip to the guy if he watches it. I don't know. Uh, just push the tail, uh, the head more to the inside. Yeah. It doesn't look too much worse. Yeah, I just did that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that makes it a lot better. Uh, anyway. So, um... The rear works, though. Yes. Uh, but I think we are in the late 80s, early 90s. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Not in 2019. Right. Damn, now no. I've made the front too much. <laughs> I've improved the front too much. <laughs> now I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, there are so many so ways to improve the front. Like, you can... Uh, okay, I, I stop it. Yes. Uh, they, yeah. The diffuser works for me. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And... The, the rear overall is great. Uh, the front, well, it was terrible. Um, so overall, what do you think? Uh, what do you say and think? Probably for uh, the body helps a lot, but I think it's a five, a five, no more than it's a, a five. five. All right, I agree. The killer noob. Ah, 
pretty low on the stats overall, just 44 sportiness. Still scoring 105 in hyper. I wonder how he does that. Oh, okay. Okay. A 10 litre engine, V12. Well, that would give you some prestige there for the score. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, nah, no, the stats aren't quite there. Uh, 250 engineering time. It's pretty high for a car like this. 800 horsepower. All right. Let's take a look at the design. Oh, uh, that's original. That's it's not a original indeed. for sure. It's not a hypercar, though. I don't like the rear at all. It lacks. Uh, squeezed a bit. I yes. think I understand what he tried to do because mm. it's not bad crafted. Nope. Doesn't I, fit. I get that. I, get the idea. I mean, uh, what he tries to do, at least on the rear, is a retro throwback design, which could work. Yeah, it reminds me the Ford Thunderbird remade on the late, no, yeah. early 2000. Hmm. But it's not for a hypercar of 2019. Yeah. No. No, the front looks. Oh, no. Yeah, meh. Definitely. Design is meh. Overall, I would give it a four. Oh, I don't even know if I would go that high, but if you say that. Um, and yeah, four, I can. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. it's a four. The Roadrunner 36. All right, that's a good scoring hypercar. It's doing well. Uh, just with a 4.5 liter engine. Nice. Okay. Uh, decent stats. Not not overly uh, overly great, but a good mix of them. So good scoring hypercar, and engineering time under control. Power 950 horse almost. Okay, design. Ooh. The front look. If it looks straight on wow. the front, it looks like scared or frightened. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's something oh. something that uh, that takes me off on the front. Maybe it's the eyes. Uh, they look a little weird, but overall I, I agree. Like, like it. when, ooh. like it looks like dead, absolute, dead like on. Zoom, zoom out very far, and tell me this okay. this looks good. It because, is. Okay, no, I, I massively disagree. From uh, <laughs> from oh, okay from, from close up, I agree. It looks looks really nice. Like zoomed out, it looks like a, a Halloween pumpkin. <laughs> okay, I That's see. That's a bit, I yeah. See. Okay, but what that can't say? that can't be unseen, so I'm sorry. Um, and anyway, the rear works a lot better to me, though. Yes. Yeah. There are the Zonda vibes of the exhaust. Yeah, yes. very Zonda. Yeah, there is. Um, okay, but of all, what do you say? Oof. Uh, haha. I'm. Probably going ah, solid uh, six I could, for sure. Yeah, I could give it a good a six, not Maybe. nothing more. Is no. that with the stats I, uh, or without the stats? With the stats, with the I, stats. I, I, I think I could stretch it to a seven. Mm. Yeah, Maybe because both. because of Mr. Pumpkin, I'm not going higher than a six overall. So is it a six? Okay. Okay. Title guy one. Okay, that's a pretty good scoring car. 135 in hyper. Uh, sportiness at 91. Engineering time somewhat under control, even though a bit on the high end there. Uh, power is good. Design? Wow. Uh, oh. Hmm. Do you also get the like cutting the of the headlights there? Like you can see into the car? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. A slight bit, a not bit. too much. A bit, yeah. A bit. Zoomed out far enough, it doesn't appear to be a problem that much. It doesn't look too bad. But Depends okay. on the angle, how we look at it. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. I have to... oh, it's a bit it. busy mm. as design. Too much stuff going on. The sides especially. The sides are quite busy, Also yes. the rear. Take a look at the rear. Hmm. I mean, the diffuser and all the stripes going up, yeah, oh, it's a bit very busy. too much of I like a mess. It. It's a nice touch that you can see the uh, race the engine. intakes. The intakes. Uh, That's yeah. cool. Yeah, and you can see also the, the suspension getting the engine. Oh, but yeah. The, the, line, the, the problem I have here is that from certain angles, the lines look like squiggly lines instead of straight lines. Like when you just, yeah. when you would stand at a normal height behind the car, about two meters behind the car, this looks like a complete mess. It looks like 
it has been crying and the mascara has hmm. all been flowing down the eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, sides don't work for me. The front is cool. There's some really cool design elements, but overall, even with the stats, this is not more than a six to me. Six. It's yeah. a six. It's a good design. Mm. Tsushinoko Real. A good scoring car. 116 in hyper. Well targeted. Uh, overall, engineering times are good. Power is on the higher end of the spectrum. And the design. Yeah, the Carmageddon! But that is probably due to some morphs not being exactly yeah, right. Yeah, probably. So let's ignore those massive pedestrian um, favorites and look at the design instead. Hmm. Some interesting ideas and... But... Indeed. Something is missing. Not very much. Yeah, it's the, it's a front wharf is bugged, so some fixtures in the rear. Yeah, that is. Fixtures don't cut properly. Yeah, the front light because of the morphing of the wheel arches. But I, I can imagine how it looks like. Yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. Ah, I see what it's, you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. has some it cool design place. looking. Yes, yes. Yeah. It didn't quite place. Like the headlights, uh, I just extended it and it kind of works. Looks cool. Uh, let, like, let me try to to extend this. It's don't, probably going to fuck don't. it up. Uh, yeah, it fucked up. I tried. It fucked up. Oh no, it worked for me. Oh, good oh, for yeah. you. It's looking looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that I like definitely it. works. Uh, now, now so, this the side vents or something are mis not placing, but it's anyway, it's a, a, a period. It oh, can be fixed. Yeah. Some okay. Point. Overall, what do you guys think? Oof. Uh, it's a hard solid six. Yeah. For me, it's yeah, it's a solid six. Exactly. Yeah, oh, I agree. Um, gaming. Very nicely scoring in hypercar, 146 there, and very high prestige, uh, decent engineering time, good power, yeah, that works. Okay, design. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The, the front oh. reminds me of the Mitsuoka something. The yeah. round, squishy, round lights, I don't know, I don't really like it, not on... On a hypercar. No. The yeah, um, fr front. front arrangement of vents and grills um, somehow reminds me of playing Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But, um, okay. Oh, a nice touch is... Yeah, a little overdone maybe, but no, no, it kind, kind of works as a theme. The uh, vents on the rear sides. Oh. I wouldn't call them overdone. They... Mm. Quad. That was a cool new engine. Um, not bad, like it. Yeah. But the rear, it's, uh, the lights are so small. Yeah, pretty yes. small. Could have it kind been. of fits with the front, but yeah. Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. so overall, what do you guys think? Ha. Oh, to me, it's a, I would give it a five, five plus one. Yes. Yes, five plus one. Yeah. All right. Stats are awesome. Stats are great. Next up, Weasel. A decent scoring car. It's not overly high stats. Good in prestige, obviously, here. Uh, but 800 horse. Ooh, yeah, engineering time on the limit, but still within the range we think is somewhat acceptable. Let's have a look at the design. Loud. Uh, Very loud. The, the poison look. Yes. 2018. I, hmm. I don't like it's very a much. very busy, very angry car. I wouldn't call it a hypercar, more like a track day ish premium yeah. car. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like a uh, a pimped track car. Yeah, it is difficult with this body to design a proper hypercar. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so what do we think of all? I think I you can give, give it a, a five. five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four plus one for me, yep. Okay. Five. X Vector. Good scores. Very much on the sporty side of things. Low drivability for a car like this. And way, way too much power. That is why engineering time is so high. 
It's basically impossible to engineer this shit. That doesn't work. It's too much power. It's overheating all the time. But, anyway. Design? I've... Oh, uh, uh, I like yellow it. headlights, though? Oh. Yeah, I have it's, had it's the same question. 1980s France called. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> let me change those. I need to see what, what, what it really looks like. Uh, where is that yellow? It's the first one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's this one. No, it's this one. Clear? Are you trying yes. yum yellow? Okay, now they're clear. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. The rear is cool. Yeah, I... It's quite cool. I like it. It's like not a it. bad design. And it seems stupid, but I like the color. It's... Yes. I don't know. It works nice with the black details. Yes. It's it not does. bad for the details. Yeah. Alright, so um, overall, what do you think? I think I give it a 6. I could give it a 6, yeah. Yeah, including the stats a 6. I agree. Including the stats. It's not a 7 design. No, no. A 6. A six yeah. yes. Yak 38. Oh, here we have a decent scoring car. It's not overly great. Uh, it's rather modest. 137 engineering time, 445 horsepower. But we discovered one thing, and that is that the engine is knocking quite a bit. And if you drop it down just slightly, it makes 500 horse. And the stats are looking, well, not that much better. So fuck the stats. That didn't help. Uh, okay. Design, though. Hmm. Oh. Nicely done. The stats don't help, but the design does a lot. Yeah. Sounds like a common theme on Yak 38. Yeah. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, the behind have uh, very big Lexus vibes. It's the front though, which I like. Hmm. Yeah, the Not angles are working to me, and the the lines, like the curve yes. uh, combined with the triangles on the side, it's quite working. Yeah, totally yeah. do. And the headlights are nicely crafted. Probably I would like to see a smaller, smaller, no smaller, a little bit bigger headlights. Yeah, it looks agreed. a little small. They look, yeah, but it mm -hmm. could work. If you just look dead on, on the front, it's not too bad. I would imagine a big, bigger headlights would look weird, actually. I don't know. All right, overall, what do you think? Hard decision coming up. I don't uh, know. Uh, a, a, six a seven. The six design-wise would not fit. It has to be a seven design-wise. All right. Yeah, I agree. It's, it would be a week seven because of the, the stats. They didn't change, but they are decent. To be still. fair, even the, with uh, the knocking engine, they're still decent. <laughs> that would be so, a seven. corner part in the finale. So a seven. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Zab Hawken. Will it be a hyper off roader? I thought the same. <laughs> I thought the same. All right. Oh, that's a decent scoring car. Yeah, very good. 126 hyper, 90 sportiness, 750 horse. And, ooh, a little bit high on the engineering time. And, uh, all right. Uh, design. Simplistic. Yeah. But not bad in it. Not, not in the back. It has an elegant look to it. Yes. The body helps with that, of course. The Probably rear fits, fits in with that, too. Demon. Ten years late. I think I, this could work, like, in 2009. Hmm. All right. Somehow, uh, I can see what you mean there. I quite like the front, though. So elegant in some way. It has an elegant, simplistic, good-looking thing to it. I don't like the the text being overlapping badging. I, I, I know this is, like, intentional, most likely. The DMA on the mm -hmm. front. But it, it is. doesn't on look good. Other models, it, he does on, on his other models, so yeah. it is indeed intentional. Hmm. All right, overall, what do you think? Ooh. Stats included. Uh, well, no, I don't think I can give it more than a five. Um, we had I a lot of very six. simple design. 
So. Oh, then it's down to me to, to decide between five and six. Oh, I like the front so much, though. The rear is okay. The stats are good enough. Ah, it's a six to me. Okay. Okay. 